hey you guys welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new here in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys how to make a custom subscribe button to fit your channel's aesthetic to do this you're going to need canva so go into canva and open up a video template once you get into canva and have it open you want to make the background color a green screen color after that you want to go to elements and select a rectangle shape or any shape you would like your subscribe button to be adjust the shape to your liking and then change the color as well then you want to go ahead and add your text so subscribe and then choose whatever font you want to use next you're going to add your animation of how you want the subscribe button to show on your video so how you want it to enter your video or and exit your video for this button i chose the animation rise and i adjusted the speed and direction also keep in mind that changing the speed and direction is something that you can do when you have the pro version of canva so it's not on the free version so keep that in mind. What I like about making my own subscribe button is that I can easily change it to fit my video's aesthetic or my overall channel aesthetic. And it's just super easy to do. All you have to do is go back in, change you know, the color or the font, and it's just super easy to edit. Another subscribe overlay that I like to use that can just add a little something extra to your video, it's super easy to do. All you have to do is again make the background a green screen color. Type in subscribe but duplicate it as many times as you want but just make sure that it has three columns. And then after that you add your animation. For this one I chose swipe. It's in the basic section of the animations. Also a key thing for making subscribe buttons on Canva. If you want the animation to have the same animation it did going out you do have to put a blank page at the back end of it you don't have to put anything on it just a blank page a blank green screen page so that way it knows that the animation needs to go out of frame and this is what it will look like over your video but yeah that's it um it's super easy to do and super easy to edit so i hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure to like comment and subscribe and i will see you guys in the next one